We have Kelly Farr joining us. Uh, he's the director of the governor's office of planning and budget, and he's going to speak to us this morning more about uh, the DCI score that Nikhil mentioned. Uh, good morning, Kelly. Hey, good good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, I appreciate y'all uh, let me participate in this uh, important meeting. So I, I appreciate uh, everybody taking the time today to uh, attend this meeting. Uh, it's it's very important from my perspective. Um, as you know, especially as it relates to the times we find ourselves in now, but as you know, the governor uh, has always had a big focus on technology and leveraging technology to make state agencies uh, more better and more responsive to the public. Um, I know we spend a lot of time as agencies evaluating and making sure that that you know our entryway, our physical entryway to constituents to get services from us is is well kept, is clean, um, is uh, looks welcoming. Uh, we need to make sure we treat our websites as that with that same kind type of diligence as that front door. Um, I think it's going to continue to be more of a focus. If it was already important before, but it's going it's going to be even more important now. Um, as as we kind of get back into you know some level of delivering services, maybe like we've traditionally done, we also don't, don't we also want to make sure we understand how we're delivering services now and how we can potentially expand and evaluate on that. Um, you know, I I think y'all have all seen the gotten some questions from the Senate Budget Office about budgets and. I think everybody kind of has a good understanding of the budget challenges that the state is going to uh, focus or find ourselves in uh, in the not too distant future and and how long that may sustain or last, we don't know. But one of when I was working for the governor and secretary of state's office, when we found ourselves in a similar position, uh, one of the ways we found ourselves uh, able to move forward was by really look, looking at the delivery methodology of all of our services. And we found that technology allowed us to um, deliver them differently in a way that the public liked to consume them better. And that a very important aspect of that was the accessibility and usability of our website. Now, when we started that journey, you know, uh, a decade ago, uh, the state, GTA had not had maybe been maybe not had invested as much as it has now in websites and so I don't know how closely we follow the guidance of it but I know in speaking with Nikhil over the last you know 12 or 14 months that I've been in OPB I know that he and his team have invested a lot of time and a lot of resources in making the state of Georgia websites uh, accessible and easy to understand. You know, one of the things that he's spoken a lot to me about that's been, it, it seemed very like common, seemed very logical once he explained it to me, but I didn't think about it, was the consistency of the appearance and usability of our websites as a state that, you know, the, the internet can be a very devious place in that people, they relate uh, security and quality with consistency. And so, I know in the last 12 months as he's upgraded the, the websites for a lot of the state agencies here at the state, you know, we appreciate your patience during that time, but I think we're also starting to see some value created from it by leveraging that consistency. And so um, I, I know that the, the time commitment we've asked of you for this session is considerable and you have a lot of stuff going on uh, maybe outside of this, but. I, I think it's an investment of your time that's very worthwhile. And I want to uh, thank McKill and his team for getting us all organized and getting us together to discuss this. And, you know, if there's anything we can do at OPB to help y'all advance what you need, um, please let us know. Thank you, Kelly. 